Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. Now, before I start off, I never told you that you needed to include the string class to um to work with strings. If that wasn't obvious to you or something, then just dash it to let you know, okay? And I'll erase this the F stream so it doesn't confuse you guys. Okay, so I have uh, what we're going to be learning in this tutorial is about substrings, right? We, but before I get into that, uh, I just want to do this just in case it wasn't obvious to you as well. So if I say a line or something equal to whatever, and I make another string, whatever, if I set that equal to line, then all this text will be in S as well, right? So S will be equal to test as well. So that's for you guys to um, learn that as well. And if you don't want to use the equal sign, uh, there is another method that you could use. This is a sign. And if you say assign the line, then it's the same thing as it just copies all the data into it, right? So it's the same thing as saying it's equal to something. I believe that's easier just to say equal to, but if you rather use a function, then it's up to you. So anyways, uh, a substring is a string getting a string within a string, right? Uh, so what I'm gonna do in this uh, is I'm gonna put this as coding made easy, okay? Now say I wanted to store coding made easy into another string, right? I, I could easily put line two equals coding made easy, right? Uh, but uh, there is another method that we can use to take one string that's a part of one string and store it into another string and that's using the substring method. So in this case what I'm going to do is say line dot s-u-b-s-t-r. Now remember that strings are like char arrays, right? They start, each letter starts from the letter, the index zero and goes up, right? So T will be zero, H is one, I is two, etc., etc. Right? So if we go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So C is the eighth letter in our in our string. So we're gonna put a uh, substring eight. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put C out and L. Now we're gonna run this program. So as you can see, it took the string from element eight in our line and took the rest of the string, right? So that's what happens if we only use the first overload and, and the substring method, right? Uh, so if we use substring and we put the value, it assumes that you're taking from this index all the way to the end, right? So, uh, but what if we only wanted to take from this index to something else, right? We didn't want to go all the way to the end. So I just want to uh, take up coding, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the word coding has six letters in it, right? So what if we do comma six, then if we run this program, and this is going to open and close too quickly, so I'm going to have to rerun it. Uh, so if you can see, it says that it only only displays the word coding. So what happens is that it says we start at the index eight, right? So we say we want to get six letters from this index. So we get C, which is one, O, which is two, D, which is three, I, which is four, N, which is five, and G, which is six, and it stops from there. So from that point on, we get uh, we store all this, get this, and we store within line two, and that's why we displayed it in here. So I'm gonna end the tutorial there. So that's how we get substrings. That's so we get a string from within another string, and we can store it, or we can do whatever we need to do with it. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.